how to use count a function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to explain count a function okay i'm going to talk about the parameters how you should use it and what are the main concept of count a function okay let's get started <laughs> Now the best way to understand a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply count a function and while I'm applying the function I'm going to explain what are the parameters, what are the consideration of this function and how and when and why you should use count a function okay in cell c2 i'm going to write equal to count and you can see here count a and if i select here you can see here counts the number of cell in a single range that are not empty you should understand by now count a function counts all the input inside a data range except the empty one okay so if you have 10 cells and you have only one empty cell the count a function will count nine so select it and the parameter is just like the count function okay you can and add the value using comma and you can add up to 255 values here and you can add data range and you can add data range and comma separated value at a time okay so simply select this this is our data range and if i close parenthesis and press enter you can see i have seven values and i have cell a1 to cell a8 and i have only one empty cell in cell a5 that's why we have seven as a result okay that means it counted all the number it counted counted error message is counted number it counted text decimal date number and text and text only everything so whenever you need to count if a cell has value or not you can use count a function okay so the main difference of count and count a function is that in count function you can count cells that has number in it and in count a function you can count any cell that has a value in it okay if it's empty then it's not counted otherwise it's accepted so this is how you can use count a function or this is why you should use it and this is how you should use it these are the best practice of using count a function okay i think the function has been explained and in the next tutorial i'm going to explain the count blank function okay and if you like this function explain video series please let me know and i will explain a lot of function inside this video series and if you need to understand a specific function please let me know i will explain that to you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and if you can please support the channel through patreon thanks for watching